Hey, we are going to see how to install a, a sample code for the uh, IT SDK. Uh, and we are going to start the installation from the example uh, coming uh, for LoRaWAN communication uh, based on a, on a Murata chip. Um, so uh, the first step to install it is, is to go to the uh, example re repository. Uh, so IT SDK example Murata LoRa. Uh, and, and we are going to clone the directory. So by, by clicking on clone, uh, we can select uh, the, uh, the URL uh, and then uh, I'm using uh, Toy Toys Git. So it simplifies stuff. It's automatically uh, cut and passed and, uh, and we can clone uh, the, uh, the repository into uh, the, the um, Eclipse uh, workspace. Uh, now we have the example and we need also to clone the SDK itself. So back on uh, Git, GitHub, uh, we can get it from STM32 IT SDK, and we are going to clone it uh, the same way uh, to get this second repository uh, into uh, the uh, the workspace also uh, for for Eclipse. So uh, now we have the two repositories uh, cloned from GitHub. As the example, so it contains the different uh, specific files to the example and, and the SDK uh, containing all the uh, files coming from the SDK. Uh, the installation is, is described in, in the readme.md uh, of the SDK. There is a, a part regarding the uh, specific uh, project part. Uh, so in Eclipse, uh, it's ASA6 Eclipse version. Uh, we are importing the project. So select to import a project from the workspace, uh, selecting the directory where the project is and, and selecting the project itself. It, it appears, uh, we can check that and we click on finished to get it imported. So we can see it on, on, on the right left side. Uh, so now we have the example, but we did not mm, yet make the link with the SDK. So we do that by adding a folder like this and uh, we go clicking on advance to link an alternate location. So this will create a, a symbolic link uh, between uh, the uh, SDK and, and our example. So this way we can have uh, one, one instance of the SDK for multiple projects. It's a, it's a bit uh, simplified. So we are selecting the directory of the, the SDK and now it appears uh, as part of the, uh, the directory tree. Uh, that's done. Uh, we need to modify a bit the uh, project configuration to ensure that uh, we point to this uh, link directory as uh, uh, my, my stru directory structure is a bit different, so I will fix that. But uh, I mean, actually, that's uh, the way to do that. Uh, this is described in the uh, readme.md5. Uh, so we, we have to go firstly in the property, in the C++ general, uh, selecting the path and symbol. Uh, be careful uh, selecting the right configuration, eventually modify different ones. So here we select the release version and in source location tab, uh, you see there is a, a previously uh, selected uh, uh, directory. So we, we did that and we add uh, a, new, uh, a new folder. So we select the folder inside the SDK. Uh, just uh, sorry for, for the miss uh, doing. Uh, so we select the, the SDK folder. In the SDK folder, we are going to select the a source a file, so it means that uh, this part of the SDK will be added in the compi compiling uh, uh, list of file. And now uh, we, are, we will do the same thing for the headers. Uh, so this is in different place. We go in a, a C, C++ build settings, uh, MCU compiler includes, and, and we do the same thing. We are removing the one existing, which is not in the right location, and add the new one. Uh, so we select uh, in the directory tree, this time the ink directory, okay, in the workspace, and we add it. So once we have done this, uh, no, uh, so we, there is an error, just it's okay, it's not a, a big, big issue. Um, so once done, we need to select the release uh, the compilation, and now we can uh, run for compiling. Uh, the, uh, the framework. So here, this is compiling the SDK and also the project. Uh, it takes uh, it takes 
it takes a while basically as um, we have to recompile everything and the, there's quite a lot of uh, of uh, different uh, files involved so eventually you can put that in background uh, the example are basically already configured so they can be used uh, out of the box uh, but uh, you may know that for the um, SDK, it's based on configuration file. So for the project, the configuration file are in the core ink and ETSDK. And here you have the different configuration files coming from the template you can find in the uh, SDK ink. Uh, and you, you will find the same file name with the uh, edge.template uh, extension. So in each of the file, you have all the configuration for the SDK config.h is the, uh, the, main, uh, the main file uh, containing uh, basically all the information. As this example is a LoRaWAN uh, implementation, you have also the config LoRaWAN file with all the definition and configuration settings for connecting to LoRa, for example, uh, but not only. Uh, you have uh, I mean, all the, the different uh, configurations. So there was a command for this and the documentation inside the SDK uh, you can take a look at uh, to, uh, to do this kind of conf conf configuration. Uh, so basically how works the, uh, the SDK, there is uh, the main file. This main file is generated by uh, Cubemix. Okay, uh, so in this QMX uh, file, we have uh, added uh, some includes for SDK and uh, basically uh, two lines, the setup. Uh, and the loop uh, called in in the while one. So this one are the SDK one. So it's something you do in every project uh, adding this line and uh, that's done after. And, and when the uh, project underscore main, uh, which is the entry point uh, where your project starts, uh, where you find the project setup, which is called by the ETSDK setup uh, after the internal settings. Uh, here you can have your configuration and uh, execution uh, and the project loop uh, in the project loop it's uh, called by esdk loop uh, with the internal loop also and in the loop uh, you mostly have uh, operation for drivers like uh, the lower one loop for example okay uh, i don't recommend to put your stuff on loop because uh, the loop i mean it's not a wild one if you are uh, for example uh, going to low power uh, this uh, this loop uh, will will stop, so you need to use task and so on for that. Okay, once the compilation is done, uh, you can uh, upload the firmware and you and you go and you're ready.